Fish? Fish. That didn't take long, did it? Pretty nice fish, isn't it? Not oh, bad. yeah. Good, good way to start. Good way to start. I'm fishing today with my buddy Lewis Shaw. Lewis is a pilot for Federal Express. So, you get to Federal Express on time, that's the man that does it right there. <laughs> He's flying those big Federal Express airplanes out of Memphis, Tennessee. Mm. But, uh, but I'm telling you, if, uh, if you didn't get your package, it wasn't shipped Federal Express. It was UPS. It was something else. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and if it was Federal Express, it wasn't Lewis that was flying the plane. That's right. It was somebody else. My day off. <laughs> <laughs> His day off. <laughs> the water, but I think it's a bass. Yeah, it is. I mean, it didn't sink, it didn't sink two inches. I thought, that can't be a bass. He's right on the surface. That's a 15 foot, pretty nice bass, too. I put that little lucky creature on too, a lucky strike, lucky creature. He might have swallowed it because he hit it so quick. He did. I let him swim. And I thought it, it's got to be a brim, and I felt of it, and I thought, that's ah, not a brim. Yeah, way to go, Jimmy. Way to go, Jimmy. Way to go, Jimmy. Let him swallow him. Well, good thing if you got Barbara's hooks, you can still save a lot of them that's even right. if they swallow it. Yep. Turn that, and get a hold of that hook, and turn it out, just like that. <laughs> Good to go. Mm. The creature bait, hydra tail creature bait. That fish, that's that's about. 10 foot deep right there, 15 right there. I didn't sink, um, you know, I said a couple inches, probably six inches. And like almost after, just as soon as it hit the water, just about he bit it. Got him? Got him. Spinnerbait fish? Spinnerbait. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we need to be throwing, we need to be throwing these shallow water baits, yep. I think. It's cloud cover. and That's a good fish. That is a nice fish. Sounded good anyway. Been in your pole. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Biggest one of the morning so far. You gonna put me on a spinnerbait? I'm <clears throat> throwing my little plastic and my mimic and you got a Jimmy Houston round bladed yeah, baby. spinner bait on there. Yeah, that's a nice one. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Ah, oh, those weeds. Fish? Yep. Spinner plug fish, spinner plug fish, spinner plug fish. Nice one too. I mean a nice one. I think you killed him. <laughs> he says, I'm not even gonna fight you. Isn't that something? Nice fish, he didn't wanna nice fight, fish. did he? No. Wasn't that something? He says, you got my attention, bud. <laughs> I give, coming out with my hands up. Come out with your fins up. All right, Mr. Lewis, you made me do it. You gonna do it? I'm gonna pick up my blade, because I've done that before. I've caught one on this thing before. Once or twice. I've caught one. I hate it when I'm moving, somebody's catching fish, and he's been catching three to one to me already <laughs> all day. I'm trying to go to a place where I can catch them. <laughs> I'm a really good guide though, right, Lewis? <laughs> you are a great guide. <laughs> Hey, it's all about people having fun, right? That's right. You know, I'm gonna have more fun. We are having fun. Crappie. Ooh, that's what. Yeah, a that's slab. what a lot of them are down there. And there's a little, that's why they're showing up as pretty decent yeah. sized fish because, you know, that that's actually a pretty decent sized fish, and that that's why they're showing up as that. But and they're they're scattered, but there's a lot of them. There's 30 or 40 fish right there, and some of them are bluegill, but uh, and then some of them are bass. There's some bass right there too. Crappie, they're not biting it, they're just kind of swarming around it. Yeah. And then finally, I just left it down there, and finally that big crappie bit it. Not a giant crappie, but those are, that's a good eating size crappie right there. It's about like what we was eating last night. Yeah. <laughs> that was good eating. It's your lucky day, Mr. Crappie. That's really something. There's quite a few of them down there, but they're really not biting. I just sort of left that bait there, right in front of it, just like that. That's a bass, maybe a little bass. No, it's a crappie. 
There's a bunch of them right in front of that tree. It's right out in front of it. You think that's not oh. a crappie? You think that's not a crappie mm. catching machine, that live scope? Jeez. I mean, that's when, that's a big old crappie right there. You can see them right in front of that tree. I mean, a bunch of them. Now, that one wasn't too deep either. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, Get him. Yep. All right. That's bass there. Bass. I was seeing some bass down there also mixed in with those crappie. And they're not biting real good, but I mean, you, you can catch them, but he ate it pretty good too. Isn't that pretty? I'll get you hung up in a tree. I can catch a fish. That's right. That's Boy, he, he ate that thing too, didn't he? I mean, it is down in his throat. And we're seeing those fish right there on the live scope, on the Garmin live scope. And I've been, I've been seeing some bass down there, but it's hard. They haven't been biting. I've been throwing a wide variety of baits. I finally put, picked up a little stump jumper, crappie bait. Caught three or four crappie. You out of the tree yet? No, I'm uh, fishing for squirrels right now. Now we're good. We have a little squirrel meat with our fillets. Oh yeah, that's a good one there. I'm video game fishing, you're just catching them right along. <laughs> when I'm out of the trees. <laughs> oh, I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> I, don't know, I lost a crappie there. It's just kind of cool to watch them hit that bait. Drop it down amongst them and see them, see them run at it and get all excited. Drop right down on them down deep out here. They're right out here in front of the boat. Catch them right off the front of the trolling motor. Get my bait in there right off the front of that trolling motor. Look at that crappie. Isn't he gorgeous? I mean, they are beauties. They're nice ones too. A big crappie. <clears throat> I got 20 pound high seas braid on here. What I do on my spinning reels nowadays is we, we put 20 pound high seas braid and that way you got 20 pound line here. And now I've got just a little short leader. You don't need very much. I usually will start out with about a five or six and either use pure fluorocarbon or fluorocarbon coated. Fluorocarbon coated works just as good as, as, a car, as fluorocarbon. That's only about 10 bucks a spool. But uh, it depends on what you want to use, but that's fluorocarbon coated line. And I actually started out with about, with about a five foot stretch. And that way as I break off lures or I tie on lures, it gets shorter and shorter. That's all you need. That's about a foot. That's probably about a foot of fluorocarbon leader in there. We're sort of almost force feeding those fish to bite. They don't want to bite, but if you leave it down there and move it around in front of them and kind of move it away from them and then drop it back down, that, that's, when I'm, that's when I'm getting the bite. Move it fast and you know, that you'll get one kind of interested in it, but they're not really biting real good. I mean, it's a great morning, sun peeking in and out. Yeah, there's, there's one coming, one coming, a good one coming, a good one coming, good one coming. got him. <laughs> that might be a bass. That was a good looking fish. Yeah. No, that's a crappie, just a big crappie. You see him coming after it? Yep. On that scope? One of the things that, that I've got on, on all of my boats, look at the size of that crappie. That's why they're showing up so big. You're right. Is I've got I've got the the, the the my Garmin back on the console is etherneted to the one in the front by cable. And so whomever is in the back of the boat can actually watch that on that screen. So when we got our baits down there and I'm talking about watching, 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 you see it on the other locator that I've got there. And uh, you see that fish. Once I dropped it down further, boy, he, he came up from deeper as it was coming down. All right, all right, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. It's hard for me to leave. <laughs> you don't, don't leave biting fish, That's is that right. what they say? That's right. It's hard for me. <laughs> Eating that old stump jumper up. close as I get to a crappie fillet. We had a great crappie fillet dinner last night though, man, I'm telling you. All right, that's my last cast in here, Lewis, I promise. Listen, said, I'm getting tired of fishing this spinnerbait in one spot for 30 <laughs> minutes. My last, my last throw in there, I promise you. I promise you, I promise you. That is so much fun though, to watch those fish eat that bait. <laughs> oh, he, that was, that right, was there. right there. That was right there, I, I watched it. I mean, he'd it. come up all the way off the bottom and got it. Wow, I was right on top. Wow. 
Those are some pretty fish. That's one of the smaller ones there. It's a pretty nice crappie. I'm not sure I ought to be calling that one of the smaller ones, but it, if it is. <laughs> mm. Woo. Okay. All right, Jimmy. Lay that stump jumper down. You notice Jimmy's trick there? I found me a big bunch of crappie, and I caught up with him. I probably caught as many as he has now. It, I had to sort of, like, catch up number-wise. <laughs> I uh, did. There he is. Got him? It's a little guy. Not bad. Oh, no, he's not too bad at all. <laughs> not bad at all. Pretty nice fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice fish. Good one. Good bass. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that's about to one of the best ones we've caught. We're going to have one run out there and grab it a minute, though. It'll be about twice that size. Yeah. That's going to happen. Oh, there's another one. Not bad, though. We'll take him. I want him. I'll take those all day long. There's one. Good one? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Not big. All right. Pretty nice fish. Good big chunk. Good healthy fish. Good fish. Ooh, very good fish. <laughs> You know, it seems like that it doesn't matter, Lewis, what I do and what I start out with. Before the day's over, there's going to be a Jimmy Houston legend spinnerbait tied on. <laughs> and you put me on this and pretty, by whapping me pretty good this morning. Uh, he's about normal. About normal size? About normal. He sounded pretty big when he bit. Yeah, he's a little he above normal. One. He's good. I'm going to call him a little bit above average. <laughs> A little bit above average. I got one too, a small one. Right. Well, double, double action. Why, why are you back here, Lewis? Why are you back here? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. What's a friend for, man? No kidding. <laughs> I think mine was bigger, though. Thank you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yours was. Yours was. <laughs> Sometimes those shad move in the ends of these creeks this time of the year, and they, and they load up in there pretty good. Come here, baby doll. There seems to be a lot more fish in the creek than there was out in the open water. That water temperature down to a little over, about basically 70. You well, still on? 71. You got another one? Another double. Another double. That's why I not... talked about one down there. I wanted to get in this creek channel before we had to quit. Got a little bit of salad with mine. Oh, yep. Got the filet and the salad. I heard that. Look at that slab. I heard that. Big crappie on Big crappie bait. on oh, spinnerbait. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to do that. I'm going to stop and fish here for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want me catching those big crappie. I get to shine in my scope over there and see a bunch of them there. Pull that old stump jumper. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, that's a nice one. God, that was pretty. Man, it's slow motion to come out there and got that thing. Ooh, he's so strong. Oh, man. <laughs> you a strong dude. He said, I got some shoulders on me, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, that's a little better. That's a little better. That's what we're looking for. Nice fish. We're way up in a creek, you know. We got way back up in here. And it seemed like the further we go, the bigger the fish we've got. And there's there's a lot of fish in here, too. We've caught really a lot. Oh, spinnerbait's not going to last too much longer, I don't think. You got him right out of there. Nice fish. 
Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Double. That's a nice one. You double? All right. All right. Good fish. Well, that's a pretty one right there. That's one of the better ones we've caught. Mm. <clears throat> I suppose you want me to take your fish off. <laughs> Payback is fair. Lewis has been throwing a fire tiger, a fire tiger, and I've been throwing a chartreuse and white. Those are it, probably as good of colors. And you notice the other thing. Kiss his girl. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss Lewis's girl. That's you notice right. the other thing is is that, that he's got he's got the tandem, he's got tandem uh, round blades, Colorado blades on. So he's got a little bit more vibration. I got a little bit more flash. Honestly, ow, we got sharp hooks. Honestly, both both baits are working really, really well, and both colors are working really, really well. And that's a lot more small profile. And if I was Lewis, I would retie my line. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow, what a great day Lewis and I had on the water today. And, you know, the big deal was they were simply biting a Jimmy Houston Legend spinner bait better than anything else, period. I tried a mimic impersonator, and I caught a couple, two or three fish on it. I tried a plastic worm. I caught a fish or two. Uh, the best, the soft plastic that we had any luck on was uh, on a, a lucky creature, creature bait uh, by Lucky Strike. And, uh, but but they, they, Lewis just kept throwing that spinner bait, and, uh, and he was catching out catching me like probably two or three to one. And finally, old bullhead here, I finally picked my spinner bait up. But the amazing thing was that there was no difference in me throwing a willow leaf and him throwing a Colorado blade. Now what we're talking about in a willow leaf is a blade like this. It's a long slender blade actually shaped like a willow leaf. That's what it's shaped like, like a leaf. That's why they call it willow leaf. A Colorado blade is a round blade. You can have an Indiana blade, which is a little bit of an oblong type blade. But uh, what you want to do, they were hitting both just as well. But in, in, in a lot of, where you want a lot of flash, you got relatively clear water, you want a lot of flash, you want to use the long blades. They create a lot of flash, but not nearly as much vibration. If you're wanting a lot of vibration, like in really, really murky water where you're trying to create as much sound as you can with the spinnerbait, that's when you want to use the round blades. Now, you will have times like today when the bass were really, really eating the spinnerbait. We had cloud cover. As you can see right now, it's got hot. The, the quit, wind quit blowing and the clouds went away. But this morning we had cloud cover, we had wind, and we had ideal spinnerbait conditions. I was a little bullheaded there, but when Lewis just kept catching them, I swapped over and we absolutely smoked them on a spinnerbait. They didn't care. He was using a fire tiger. I was using chartreuse and white. He was in Colorado. I was using a willow leaf. They just wanted a spinnerbait. When you have those conditions, grab your spinnerbait, head down the bank, set the hook. I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that little bell so it'll ding and remind you and you'll never miss a Jimmy Houston Outdoors video. Thanks a bunch, guys and gals.